This which uh, is leading to what we are seeing now in most of this uh, in the two English speaking regions. Mr. Uh, Metro Alex, uh, uh, Metro Alex, when you look at what is happening in the two English speaking regions now, we a uh, few days back saw so, uh, more than 15 persons killed. This is as a result of guns, possibly in the wrong hands. We're no longer talking about the crisis, but we're talking about the fallout of the crisis. How do you think? This can be managed. This is a little away from the crisis which we, 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 we're talking about, but this is, you know, another situation which needs another approach to be managed. In by sending my condolences to uh, friends and family of those who lost their, lost, lost their loved ones in Bamenda, in Nacho. I know Nacho Junction very well. And I know Bamenda very well. It saddens me that some years ago, when I came to Bamenda, I used to walk on my own at night at Sonat Street from Commissioner Avenue. Nothing happened. I'm so disappointed that the law of diminishing marginal return is facing our country today. And the crux of the problem, to be honest, I have the policy that I don't blame whoever you call. Even if you are fighting the war, there's something called war crime. Generally, if you attack civilian, I will say, what you're doing, you're committing a crime. But however, the annus is for who? When you are in government, there are certain functions that the government must provide. And beside this seven-year war, the government have not been providing those um, functions that they expect to do. People don't pay taxes to our government to embezzle it. Government have to provide what? Leadership. They have to maintain law and order. They have to provide national security. They have to enforce laws. But today, when we look at what is happening in the country, I'll quote Mr. Bia. Insofar as Yaoundé is breathing, Cameroon is okay. And Mr. Bia has shown evidence today that he doesn't care what is happening in Northwest and Southwest. We don't even see it. In your country, in France, if one citizen, one citizen is killed, the president of France come and talk. I'm sure more than 10, more than 15 citizens of the Cameroon were murdered. Mr. Bia is silent. The prime minister is silent. The Senate president is silent. The members of parliament, local councillor, they are silent. So do we really have a government? That is my concern. And again, whatever we want, they say the people are sovereign. That's what the constitution of Cameroon says. Our people will have an issue today. And the issue... I saw what Mr. Elijah is saying. It's beautiful what he's saying, that the government can come and solve this problem. We have another model. We were given pseudo independence. What I mean today, most people say Cameroon is a sovereign and independent state. But when you look, constitutional experts, they will tell you Cameroon have joined sovereignty with SEMAC countries. So the problem of Cameroon is, is maybe deeper than we think. Because at the end of the day, it's easier to solve the problem to me because when I sit here, I always say, what are the causes of that? Why are Anglophones fighting? I was lucky to meet um, Paul Mona and Paul Fonta. I met Paul Fonta at Fonta at, um, at his house. He was a sad man. He was broken. This man was the vice president of Cameroon. This man was Mr. Bia's boss. He tried to solve this problem with Mr. Bia. They ignored him. Paul Mona, Paul Fonta. Although I don't share the same political opinion with them, but they did their best. They went to the UN, the government of the Cameroon, to mock at them. And what is the problem to me personally? People say, oh, it's a language problem. Listen, in Cameroon, we say we are, is it bilingual? We are not bilingual. We are multilingual with two official languages. In Cameroon, it's not obligatory to speak English or French if you read the constitution. But this is our problem. When you bring a lamb that was inherited from France in 1945, and you're imposing it on the English-speaking Cameroonians who have a different system. When you bring a corn normal superior that was inherited from France, from, it was created in France rather in 1794, you're imposing it on Anglophones. When you bring military tribunal that was created in France in 1793, you're imposing it on Anglophone. When you bring gendarmerie that was created in France in 1791, you're imposing it on Anglophone. When you bring France CFA that was created in France in 1945, you're imposing it on Anglophones. So do the Anglophones 